Sagittarius, my fire sign Sagittarius. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome back for all my returning subscribers. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. And if you are new to my channel and you've never been here before, hey y'all. My name is Queen of Wands 1111 and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for all the love and support. So I did start doing y'all reading and I had to start over. Okay. So I'm going to leave these cards here. I'm going to take them back, reshuffle, see if they come out again. But for right now, we're going to break this down. We're going to break down what's in front of me. And then, you know, take it as it resonates. Apply it where it needs to be applied to. I could be speaking of the past, the present, the future. I could be speaking of a family member, a friend, or a lover. I could be speaking of a co-worker. All right? So take it how it resonates, you guys. So somebody's feeling left out in the cold by you. They're feeling left out in the cold. They feel rejected. Isolation is in play. Or they feel loneliness. I feel like this person has a scarcity mindset and they're going through uh, some mental conflict here. They're in a mental imprisonment of their own thoughts here. They're overthinking about things, creating scenarios in their head. This person is thinking about you a lot. They're in a mental imprison of their own thoughts and they regret the things that they said to you, the things that they did, how they acted towards you here. I feel like this person is feeling guilty, full of guilt. They're full of guilt. They could be sitting somewhere crying right now, but they feel very remorseful. And they want to undo the damage between the two of you. I feel like this person could be offering you commitment with the wedding card showing up here. I feel like this person sees a future with you. They want to take it to the next level. So they feel like to undo this damage, they have to either propose marriage to you or actually marry you. Instead of being engaged, you guys may have been engaged before. But they see this future with you. They want long term with you. They want to be in your life for the rest of your life okay but i feel like a lot of you cut this person out you saw a future with this person but i feel like you're cutting ties or you're in separation with this person a lot of you are leaving before it gets worse because you don't see things getting any better with this person you're cutting your losses okay you're cutting your losses when it comes to this person this person is talking about you to other people so be careful what you tell them because they could be spewing your business to other people your secrets that they're not even supposed to know all right somebody heard rumors about you and i feel like you guys may be worried that others will talk about this situation here gossip about you or some of you don't care what people say all right you may be gossiping about this person you may have heard rumors about them all right but I feel like, yeah, you feel unvalued by this person. This person took you for granted. There was an unequal give and take. You are not feeling appreciated by this person. Or in the past, you was not feeling appreciated by this person. And I feel like you are filing for a divorce. There's some alimony here. So some of you are married to this person. Some of you are not. You're terminating a marriage. Separation will be costly. Because I'm seeing alimony. Someone has to pay legal fees. Spousal support, alimony, something. If you're not married to them, the relationship is just complicated. It's hard for you two to get on the same page. With the gypsy card showing up here, I feel like your person's color could be red. Or your favorite color is red. I feel like you know the unknowable. You live an unconventional lifestyle. You're exotic. You could be from another country or you just look exotic. All right. But you're being mysterious right now. So I feel like this person doesn't know much of what's going on with you. you. You're being quiet. You're not saying anything, okay? I feel like you clicked on this reading to get more confirmation, to get more answers, to get clarity. All right. So let's take these cards back like I said we was going to do. And we're going to shuffle them and pull the spread, see if they come back out. How are you guys doing today? It's hot as heck outside, ain't it? Is it hot where you are? Let me know if it's hot over there. Or if it's cold or what. Let me know. What's going on in y'all area? What city y'all from? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm from Brooklyn, New York, if y'all wanted to know where I'm from. I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I used to live right on Malcolm X between Macon and Halsey. Ooh. Okay, some of these angry. <laughs> you could be angry or they're angry. I feel like you resent this person. There's some sort of resentment here. You're feeling invalidated. This person just sweeps your feelings under the rug. This, they mistreat you. You're being triggered by this person. 
Yeah, or this person's being triggered by you because you're not budging. Let's see. Let's get a few more messages. One more for Sagittarius. What's this that want to stick out? All right. Here we go. Whew, at the bottom of the deck, clean up. So this person is wanting to clean up their life, making healthier choices and cutting out all the negativity. And I feel like you're doing the same thing as well. You could be moving or getting rid of things that you don't need. You could be getting new furniture. You could be dusting some things down in your home. You could be getting new curtains or new blinds. You could be getting a new love seat. Or you could be hiring a maid. <clears throat> all right. You may work for the maid's company. For someone out there, that's not going to resonate for all of you. But I feel like, yeah, this person is angry. They're being triggered. They are being triggered because you're not budging. You're not budging. They see you. They feel like you're in this energy of being stubborn and inflexible. You're not working with this person. You're not seeing eye to eye with this person. Both of you are standing your ground. But this person is refusing to change. I feel like a lot of you are focused on work. You're not budging. You're focused on your work, your career. You could be working two jobs. You could be working long and hard hours, overtime. And this person is heartbroken. There's some heartbreak here attached to all of this because there was a breakup. They're suffering and grieving here. And they're unable to move on from you, Sagittarius. They're unable to move on. Yeah, y'all cut them out. Again, with the cutout. I feel like you cut ties. You cut a soul tie. Or you guys just took some time apart. You're leaving before it gets worse for some of you because you don't see things getting any better dealing with this person. You're cutting your losses here. And they got a plan. They got a strategy. They're planning their next move towards you and they feel like they have to be very clever when it comes to you. Okay, what's this that fell? Let's see, y'all. Let's see. Jealousy person's jealous that's why they're coming towards you they want you to themselves okay they have an attachment to you they're attached they're attached to you they fear losing you to someone else they don't want anyone else to have you guys okay they don't they don't want anyone else to have you they're jealous and i feel like they may try to perform some sort of spell work on you or you know cast a love spell or come to me spell or they may try to manipulate this outcome Okay, yeah, they may try to manipulate the outcome and attract you in. How are they going to do this? How is this person's strategy? Tell me the depth of this person's strategy when it comes to Sagittarius. What is this person planning to do? What is this person planning to do besides their spell work and the cleanup? What are they planning to do? What? <laughs> What the hell is going on here? Okay, so they're planning to talk about you. They're, they're talking about you. Be careful what you tell this person. Because they're spewing your secrets. Or they want you to gossip to them about something. They could be gossiping to you. But you heard rumors and gossip about this person. Yep, you could be gossiping. You heard rumors about them. And you could be gossiping. But I feel like they talking about you. They talking about y'all. Because y'all must have just had an argument or a fight. This person is creating drama. Telling your business to these other people. They see you as a soulmate. I feel like your person is mentally unstable. They're emotionally unstable. There's a soul connection here. So I feel like you guys are connected on a soul level. There's a soul tied here. This could be a friend or a romantic partner. But I'm seeing compatibility between the two of you. However... This love is unrequited. It's one-sided. It's not enough attraction. And the feelings are just not mutual between the two of you. What's the outcome for these two? What's the outcome? Tell me more about their strategy. What's the outcome? Spirit guides. Tell me more about their strategy. What's the outcome? Cursed? Cursed is the outcome? Okay, let's see. You may curse this person out curse their ass out okay or i don't know you got cursed out paralyzed give me one more dating at the bottom of the deck there is a separation between the two of you you withdrew your energy you pulled your energy back you took your power your energy back and there's a disconnect between the two of you there's a or 
or there's a disconnect between the two of you i feel like you're the missing piece to this person's puzzle but they keep testing you they keep testing the relationship and the relationship broke down i feel like while they're in separation from you you're closed off they're closed off you're closed off to this person you are emotionally unavailable you're avoiding intimacy and not just sex i'm talking about like conversation yeah you're facing some emotional burdens i'm so sorry this happened to y'all but i feel like you ghosted this person or they did this to you and you clicked on this reading to get confirmation to get clarity to find out what's going on between you and this person because they're showing up with mixed feelings mixed feelings okay they're indecisive their feelings are conflicted this could be your feelings that's conflicted you may be indecisive about what to do here but this person was unsure of the relationship i feel like they just wanted sex from you they just wanted sex and they're a liar they lied to you you feel like everything this person told you was a lie that's how you feel and they can't hide in their lies anymore so now this person is feeling like they cursed they feel like they cursed y'all this is an ex I feel like they're going through a string of bad luck, a string of bad relationships. They put you in this karmic cycle, this toxic karmic cycle, and they're going through a karmic cycle. Something keeps repeating in their life. And I feel like they're sending you this evil eye energy because you're holding back. You're paralyzed by love and you fear falling in love with this person again because you're like, okay, well, if I let you back into my life and you hurt me again, then whose fault is that? That'll be your fault, right? Right. So you're protecting your energy. You're protecting yourself. Locked doors are opening, removing blockages. Love is coming. I feel like something unexpected is coming in for you. Something is unlocking for you. This person wants you to open up your heart to them, but they're just too freaking toxic. They are. They're no good for you. They're low vibrational. And this was a toxic relationship. And I feel like you guys are dating someone else. For some of you, you met a new love interest. For others of you, you're ready to start dating. But I feel like this person is viewing you as somebody who is getting over them. And if you are, you're on your healing journey. Okay, you're on your healing journey. But I feel like they feel like because you're holding back and you're not budging. You're not reaching out. You're not taking action. They feel like, oh shit, well Sagittarius is getting over me. Sagittarius has got to be getting over me. Because Sagittarius has never held back like this before. They didn't expect to see this side of you before. Give me some messages. Let's shuffle this. Let's shuffle this. Okay. I shuffled before I started this video. But let's give it like four more shuffles before we dive in. Oh, I'm about to dive in. Whoa. <laughs> I love Trey songs. But when he had his baby, he's a beautiful baby. But I start feeling different about him. I'm like, how could you? How? How? <laughs> oh, my God. And now, I have a thing for Kendrick Lamar. Say what you want. Say what you want. <laughs> I love Kendrick Lamar. I'm so in love with him. I think I'm, I, I think, I think I'm obsessed with Kendrick. <laughs> I think so. Okay. I just love him. All right, after Trey, I had to, I, look, I moved on to Kendrick. I was like, oh, gosh, Kendrick. <laughs> you guys may be relocating, okay? If you're not relocating, I feel like you're going to visit a new scenery, a new area. But you guys could be moving to a new city, state, country, town. Yeah, you're not giving this person no more chances. That's it. This person may have relocated and moved somewhere. They may have been renovating a house that they had. But you, I'm seeing you packing your boxes. I'm seeing you packing your boxes and you're leaving. You're getting up out of there. you like, nah, I'm not giving you no more chances. Fuck I look like. I can't trust you. You hurt me time after time. My lesson has been learned. you like, I didn't learn my lesson before. But I learned it now. Okay. Some of you are concerned. Hmm. <laughs> If you suspect your person has an STD, you could be going to the Planned Parenthood, your local emergency room, or your local doctor's office. It says, great news, great results, you're clear. There's nothing to worry about. Yeah, this person is trickery. 
They're a fraud. They're fake. They were pretending to be something that they were not. I'm picking up this catfish type of energy from this person. This person does things that's unjustifiable. I feel like this person is someone who has motives. Or you see them as someone who has hidden motives. You feel like this person was trying to control you. They were manipulating you and fake pretending. Fake pretending to do what? What was this, what was this person pretending? What was this person fake pretending? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. Thank you. What was they pretending? They was pretending like they wanted to have a baby with you. Some of you may be pregnant by this person. It says, finally, I have been wanting a family with you. So both of you agreed to have a baby together. I feel like this was planned. And y'all have been trying to have a kid. And it hasn't been working. And it's like, finally, for someone out there, this is not going to resonate for everybody. But for someone out there, y'all been trying and trying and trying to have this baby. And y'all finally, you're finally pregnant. I feel like in the summer, you guys went on a trip on a double date or had some fun at the beach yeah yep 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 you're frustrated you are so frustrated with this person and this shit you're tired of this shit you like you son of a bitch okay you're stressed out you calling this person all type of curse words you piece of shit <laughs> i'm sorry cross watcher i listen i'm picking up these downloads from spirit right so i'm just telling you what i'm getting okay I don't mean to laugh. I don't. So don't take it personal. Please. Please don't. Okay. I'm sorry. Whew, you're stressed out. There's an overload. You're doing so much and you're just tired. You're burnt out. You could be taking care of the kids. Running back and forth to doctor's offices. Cooking, cleaning, washing clothes. Going to work. Doing what you got to do. Paying rent. Paying bills. It's so much that you're doing. If you don't have children, you're frustrated with this person. There's a mystery lover coming towards you. A sexy secret admirer who's been crushing. They've been watching you. They've always wanted you. They did. Okay. They shy. That's why they've been hiding their face. But they're about to come forward. They're ready. And look who's coming. But look who wants to pop back up. Unfinished business. They want a second chance to show you they can be the one for you. They want something. They want you. Let's see. What does this person want with my Sagittarius? What does Sagittarius person want with Sagittarius? Spirit, guides, angels, ancestors, universal energies. There's unfinished business, but what does this person truly want? Oh. But what I need from you is understanding. They want to communicate. They want you to hear them out. They want you to hear every word that they say. I'm hearing that song by Escape. What I need from you is understanding. They want some sort of compromise in here with you. I feel like this person could be older than you or they could be young. And they may be mature for their age. This person is grounded and practical, self-made, ambitious. They own everything. Well, this is you. I feel like this is a Taurus Virgo Capricorn who you're connected to. Yeah, this person's coming towards you to talk. This person may have dreads. Like black and blonde dreads. Or just black or a different color. Doesn't have to be blonde. Are you this person's sneaky link? Or is there a mature man coming towards you who's your sneaky link? And I don't condone sneaky links. But... Somebody got one. It says, I'm passionate about you. It's exciting when I'm with you. This person loves being with you. They're so passionate about you. Somebody's yearning for you. Yeah, it's your person who's yearning. They're missing you. I'm hearing that song by... Uh, what the hell is his name? Aaron Hall. I miss you. I'm talking to you, baby. I miss you. <laughs> we used to talk and laugh all night, girl. What happened to those days? Did they all just fade away? 
holding you in my arms made me feel so happy oh my god y'all that's the song that they listening to thank you spirit for that confirmation that's the song that they listening to i miss you they never had someone like you and they're thinking about the good times that they had with you they're bored <laughs> this person been trying to get over you going on dead end dates they're unfulfilled they're not on the same page with these people or this is you who's bored you've been going on dates and you're not you're not happy you feel like you're not connecting with someone you're not connecting okay i feel like this person is going to come in and bring you a gift yeah a surprise something you've been wanting or waiting for the ex they want you back this emphasis on wanting you back i want you back i realize you're the only one for me and i don't want anyone else and they're so confused they're like what did i do i don't know what i did wrong or how to fix it you're listening to your intuition you're following your intuition because the universe is guiding you okay yeah did you see this person as someone who's emotionally immature you feel like this person does not know how to treat you. You feel like there's a disconnect between the two of you. You feel like they lack presence in this relationship. And you feel like this will be short-lived. You feel like this will not last long. Or it started fast and then ended fast. Yeah, let's get some tarot. <laughs> let's get a few tarot cards for you guys. To get some clear, honest messages. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. All right, we got the High Priestess, the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Tower, the Fool card, Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician, Gemini Energy, Aries, Aquarius Energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, could be another Sag. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this could be a Cancer that you're connected to. They're hiding their feelings. If they have any feelings, they're not saying anything about this feelings. They're not expressing their feelings. Oh, this is you. You're following your intuition. You're listening to your intuition. The high priestess speaks about the keeper of the hidden secrets. So I feel like this person is keeping some information or some secrets from you. They're keeping something hidden. And I feel like your intuition is picking up on this energy. All right. Yeah. But you knew. You knew. You knew what was up. You knew what was going on. You know this person's going to want to come back to you and work things out with you. Eight of Pentacles. Yep. Three of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They want to compromise with you here. They want to work together. They want to collaborate with you. Yeah. Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands. I feel like your intuition was telling you there's a third party. For some of you it is. And I feel like you turn your back on this person. Because they were being tricky. Being manipulating. Manipulating you. Being deceitful. Okay. Even though the magician is not in the reverse. I feel like this person does have some trickery type of energy. Where this person may have been gaslighting you. Or they may try to cover up something. Because I feel like for some of you. Because you're being silent. And giving them the silent treatment. They know they want to work on things with you. And compromise with you. But you turned your back. You turned your back. And I feel like this person is waiting for you to make a move towards them. I feel like. This person may have even distanced themselves from you. To manifest you back in. Alright. But I feel like this person will try to cover up what they did. Or flip the story around on you. Y'all could be holding y'all feelings from each other. This person wants to manifest you back into their life. And they want the will to turn in their favor. They want good karma out of this situation. And I feel like they see you as destiny. They see you as someone they're meant to be with. Could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. But I feel like the universe is getting ready to shake things up for this person. I feel like, yeah, things are just going to blow up in their face. You know, even though they're waiting for you and they're not saying nothing because you're not saying nothing underneath the surface. They're going through chaos and disaster, destruction. There's some drama here. This person could be very upset or have a anger issue, like a temper problem. I feel like there was a shakeup, a breakup, a divorce. Or it's just a lot of things is blowing up in this person's face and they're shocked. They're shocked because you're taking this leap of faith into the unknown. 
you're going towards something or someone new and they don't want that they don't want you to go towards someone new yeah they're gonna take this leap of faith and come towards you but i feel like you're rejecting their offer yeah you're rejecting their love offer this person could be in jail or they're just in a mental imprisonment of their own thoughts here replaying things over and over again in their mind here they feel stuck they feel trapped they feel blocked i feel like if other options is coming towards you you could be overthinking about this situation but there may be a lack of information between the two of you or blocked communication between you and this ex who wants you back yeah I feel like you rejected this person because this person was trying to keep you stuck. They were being controlling. For some of you, this person is an Aries. If you are not dealing with an Aries, I feel like you're bossing up and you're taking control of a situation that has lost all control. For some of you, your person is older than you. This could be a baby daddy or they have their own company, their own business. They're in a position of authority. That's what I heard. A position of power. Yeah. They want to take control of this situation. They feel like they still have control of it. They feel like they still have control of the situation. And they want, to, they want you to take them serious with the emperor. They want to heal this connection with you. It could be an Aquarius who you're dealing with. They want to heal this connection with you. They want to heal with you. They want you two to heal together. Okay. They want to come back together with you. They're wishing and hoping that you two can heal things, mend things, work things out and come back together. I see them wanting to talk to you. I'm seeing messages coming through really quickly. They may be wanting to link up and partner up with you. Yeah, they may be wanting to travel towards you here. They're wanting to manifest you. And I feel like they're working with uh, universal laws to do that. But they're having a shocking awakening. And it's this risk that you're taking and rejecting them. They're unhappy, dissatisfied because you are not accepting their love offer. You feel like it's not giving what it's supposed to give. It's just you're tired of this same love offers. And I feel like this person is in their head about it. But they're still wanting control over the situation. And they want to heal this connection with you. Be careful that this person is not already involved here. But I do see them wanting to come back together. And I do see some love bombing coming through here. Whether this is face-to-face -face conversation, text messages, phone call. I see love bombing. So be careful for this energy. But I feel like this person, they love you. There's still love here. And I feel like you guys are going to eventually talk to this person. You guys are going to be hearing each other out. Talking back and forth. Yeah, this is someone who breadcrumbed you. Page of Pentacles. But I feel like they're taking action. They're not giving up on you that easily with the Knight of Wands. Yeah, they want a second chance. I feel like this person from the past is coming back with the Six of Cups. They're coming back wanting to balance the scales out with you. Wanting to take accountability. Wanting to do things right. This past person is coming back into your life here. And they could be coming to your house. But they're coming back into your life here to reconcile. They want forgiveness. They want to reunite with you. They want to have some sort of a union. Okay. Six of Wands. If this person traveled towards someone from their past and got into another relationship with someone. I feel like they're going through chaos and disaster and it's public. It's publicly. Let me show you. Now I don't see the chariot. But. The eight of wands. Four of wands. Six of wands. Two of cups. Tower. If this person was passionately communicating online or on the phone or on text messages with someone else i feel like they went to someone's house they thought everything was going to be perfect they thought everything was going to be good 
They thought they were going to get into this relationship and have love and equal reciprocity and balance and um, a soulmate connection where there's respect. But I feel like something is blowing up in their face and it's being done publicly. It's being done publicly, y'all. I feel like they're going through this tower moment in public. In the public. This could be online. Some of you may be a public figure on the public eye here. Or your person is. This could be on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Y'all. Your person is realizing they made a mistake. If they got into another relationship... Yeah, they're realizing they made a mistake. They see you as a soulmate. That's why they're jealous. And they will come back around to you. They will. They will reach out to you with some sort of a text message, phone call, DM. They want to have a new start with you or start the relationship over. Okay. So if you guys don't want to pick up from where you left off, they want to start fresh and new. They want to start over. And they want a second chance. But I feel like you've judged this person for some of you. And they don't want to be judged. But I feel like you judged them. And they misjudged you. They misjudged you. I feel like some of you could be giving this person a second chance. Yeah. But use your discernment. Make sure you have all the answers make sure everything is clear before you take this person back because i feel like spirit is saying don't be so quick to take them back don't be so quick to take them back because they're a player they're in and out fickle with their energy they don't know what they want but i feel like they're not giving up on you that easily and they're taking action they're coming in towards you so use your discernment listen to your intuition and see how you feel when you ask yourself, do I really want to get this person a second chance? And see how you feel when you ask yourself, do I really want to be over with this person? Is it really done? Because to you, it may seem like it's over, but to them, it's not. So, all right, you guys. So that is your reading. Woo, if you like this reading, give me a big thumbs up. If this is your story, like this reading and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed already. Turn your post notifications on. And if you don't see a notification from me, go into your subscriptions. It should be there. Some people are not receiving their notifications and I do not know why. But you guys, comment. Leave me some feedback. Share this video, y'all. Share this video, you guys. That's how this thing works. Share this video. I love you guys so, so much. And if you want a bonus reading from me, make sure you... Come on, let's go up with them likes. If you want more videos like this from me, let's, 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 let's put up the likes. Let's put up the likes. I love you guys so, so much. Until next time, bye Sagittarius. And I'll see y'all in the next reading.